Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of Chinook Wet Hop Pale Ale by the Sawdust City Brewing Company. Damn right, more Sawdust City beer. Sawdust City is kind of awesome in that they put out so many different beers. I'm actually headed there tonight for uh, not like I'm going to stop in there on my way to work. I'm working down south tonight and uh, yeah, I know they've got at least two beers since I was there last. So. Wet Hop Pale Ale. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Let's crack it open. Quite the excited. Couldn't find my Sawdust City pint glass. I'm not sure where the hell it went. I've got so many glasses, it's insane, but uh, it's okay. I've got a picture of this and stuff and things. and Yeah. Definitely a very hazy beer. Very, very hazy. I can already get some aromas coming off of it. And they're lovely. It smells... Very, very juicy. Oh, my. Like, oh. It's one of those beers that I could just sit here and smell for a long, long time. But that would probably not be the most entertaining thing to do. Let's give her a shot. Oh, wow. Mmm. That is really nice. Kind of sticky, very juicy, nice little IBU smack in the face off the start. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm. That is damn tasty. I'm pretty sure the rest of you will fit in there now, right? Right, do it. Do it right. There you go. Nice. Nice. Look at me go. My est estimation skills are incredible. On September 8th, 2017, we traveled to Clear Valley Hop Farm to harvest Chinook hops. This pail was crafted using those hops. 35 IBUs is what we got in here. Water, malts, which are... Oh, sorry. Water, Maris, Otter, Malt, Clear Valley, Chinook Hop, California Ale Yeast. Like, you, you never, you never, ever fail to be fantastic with your cans, Sawdust. Packaged September 28th. So, pretty much exactly a month old. Which, uh, I, I, I couldn't have gotten it in any sooner. I wasn't down at the brewery, but I would have loved to try this like the day it was canned or something the wet hops i know those kind of beers those are like they're even more kind of time sensitive than an ipa i think you want to get a wet hop beer asap one month i'm thinking it's acceptable because this still has so much amazing flavor that's so good I didn't show you this either. That's actually pretty cool. I noticed that. They even put like Chinook Wet Hop on the bottom of the can and like packaged September 28th this year at 11th, like exactly the way it should be. Let's put it on this side for now, why not? Wow. Yeah, that's absolutely delightful. I am a big fat fan of that beer. Untapped, actually I'll put this up first. SawdustCityBrewing.com, right? .com, it's .ca. I can never remember this damn stuff. It's .com. Open till 11 p.m. every day. In Gravenhurst, tiny little cottage kind of town. Middle of nowhere, basically. But right here in North Bay, breweries open till 11, Friday and Saturday. And then nine every other night, I think. Makes me sad. Like, if I lived in Gravenhurst, I would live at the brewery. 
Ratings for this beer. On tap, we got uh, 144 overall for the ratings and 3.7 out of 5. <laughs> Excuse me. Just nice fruity flavors there as well. Delicious, smooth, and juicy. Have not been let down once by any wet hop beers this season. I... Oh yeah, I tried the uh, this season's version of uh, the Nickelbrook wet hop, which I think is exactly the same as last year, so I'm not going to do a vlog on it, but... It, it wasn't as good as this, I, I tell you that right now. It was tasty, but this... Kind of like orange and peach and grapefruit juice mixed together and then stuck in the back of my throat. It's lovely. So lovely. Uh, right beer. We have a rating. Impressive. 3.5 out of 5. Uh, they had it. They had it September 29th. On tap at the brewery, you lucky bastard. That's the day after it was friggin' brewed. Golden yellow, thin white head, faint aroma straw, lemon, light vegetable notes. Quite smooth, taste of light hops, some vegetable. Yeah, say vegetable notes again. Lingering citrus. Uh, no. Like, this should, this deserves more than a 3.5 out of 5. Even after being a month old. You had it the day of. I hate you. Uh, wow. Same thing going on on Beer Advocate. One great big rating. This is actually is a great big rating. Uh, when did he have this? Did it say October 20th? So, that's not as good as the other one. <clears throat> but I just came, I thought of it now. <clears throat> if I stay on untapped and keep scrolling down. Excuse me, if it loads. Load, you whore. <clears throat> Fine, I'll just drink more beer. What are you doing? You went back to the login screen. You stupid bastard. Stupid, stupid fool. Keep going, there you go, all right. Na, 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 na. It's rolling, it's fun. Oh, so much fun. What are we at here? 21st of October. Fine ale to enjoy after yard work. It's not an ale. I guess it's a pale ale, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I see your fruit fly. Come near me again and you'll die. You'll be die. No, you didn't die. Fresh hop fest. Weird. There was a fresh hop festival or something. That'd be pretty cool. There's so many beer festivals. Like, I went to a good number of them this season, but there's so many. Really hoping to do a lot of festivals with uh, Ron from Lake of the Woods <clears throat> next year. Like, I wanted, I wanted on all of them. It was so much fun. I had such a good time. Meeting people and giving them beer and making them happy. It's fantastic. Fantastic. I like this beer. And yeah, every festival that I went to that you guys were at, Sawdust City, your festival crew, some of the nicest most hospitable, just fantastic people ever. I I don't know. I I, I think I'm gonna make a make a pretty bold claim right now that like even like New Ontario is my hometown brewery and I love them, but Sawdust City Brewing Company, as far as like the beers that they've made that I've had and liked and the few that they've made I've had and not been a fan like Soda City you hold the distinction of being Redbeard's favorite brewery I just said it pretty bold claim Beard loves you guys Fresh 
Full beard, I'd have to say, is probably a kind of a close second. New Ontario would be like number three, I guess, in there somewhere. Because like I, I love New Ontario. They're great people. But I don't know. Not a whole lot of new beers into I don't know. They're they're good, but Sawdust City is so good. Drink never last. Mm -hmm. ah. Sawdust City Brewing Company. Your Chinook Wet Hop Pale Ale. Rating. That is an that's a 10. It's absolutely a freaking 10. That is a fantastic delicious beer. And I think it's only available at the brewery, probably on tap at a couple kind of local bars and stuff like that that they supply to. Excuse me again. But uh if you can find it soon, uh definitely try it. And uh I want to say they made this same beer last year. So it could be a seasonal their wet hop thing. So if you miss out on it this year, come back in about 12 months and you you'll have your next chance to try it kind of thing. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button. You want to see more of my videos? Smash that subscribe button. Got something to say to me? Put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A Peace out! Vlog went long at the end. Must leave.